Because what are we on? A giant drum, apparently. We've got a pair of knobby hands playing the drum that we are standing on. <laughs> this is the guy that came out of the well. The Phantom Shadow Beast. Bongo Bongo. <laughs> okay. This is where the annoying. Okay, you can only do that with. You can only shoot his hands when they're not bunched into a fist. If they're bunched into a fist, you might want to run. Alright, where am I? What am I doing? Uh. Okay. There you go. Pull out your sword. Jump strike him. Jump strike him. Or conserve. Magic. And arrows. There. Not too bad. But then again, of course, when I say it, of course that. Yeah! It's just. Wow! Go! <laughs> yeah, it really is that easy. Of course. Because that's because I had the bigger on sword, which is significantly stronger than Master Sword. Plus, I jump strike, which doubles your attack power. And it got very, very dark. Let me see. Okay, there it goes. Turns into shadow bugs, or shadow wings, or shadow ink blots, whatever it is. There's Bunga Bunga for you. There's a Bunga Bunga. Oh, uh, yes. Grab this heart! Hurrah! Increase our life! Grab the arrows. Oh, never mind. Step into this place so we can be encased in a prism. A prism. Not a prison. Prison. Prism. Hear the difference? Anyways, we're in this chamber of sages. And, of course, we know who the sage is because she told us. Spoiler. It is Impa. Still in her shorts. The boy with the noble Zelda Zocarina. As I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guides the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Where is she? Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the Six Wise Ones, will seal up the key evil king and return, <laughs> return peace to Hyrule. <laughs> I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. Like all other medallions before. Very, very useful. Not! They're just little mementos that we saved the sages and rescued them and all that. Blah, 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 blah. But, you receive the shadow medallion. It awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. Please look out for the princess. She has a manly sounding voice because, well, she's a warrior. Warriors are manly. Alright, now, we have defeated Bongo Bongo the... Father, you! Bongo Bongo the shadow monster that came out of the well. Where was it, like, seven years ago, though, when I explored the well? Maybe it was in a secret room. Anyways! Uh... Now. Uh, Nabby should cue us. 
where we should go next. Or I could just go ahead and just show you where to go next. Let's see, as far as sculpture list, we have 63. Um, um. Well, you know what? Well, let's just go. Let's just uh, travel the breadth and width of the land and see if we can find adventure. <laughs> and there's Epona! Let's get on our horsey. Let's climb onto our horsey. Let's ride into the sunset. If there was a sunset to ride into. Uh, come on, Epona! It's a bridge! Come on! No, it's not gonna break under your weight. You're not that fat. Oh, I think I know what we can do. Let's see if we can catch that stupid pole that we, that's been annoying us for so long. Although I'm probably gonna skip this part or make it or speed it up or something like that. Whatever. 